you want to follow along, just go to bizanosa.com slash Ubuntu 22. And that's going to redirect you to this page. Just click there on swap file and we're going to see how you can create a swap file. The swap file is like a memory. My server comes with 2048 MB of RAM. So maybe your server is smaller than mine or bigger than mine. Either way, you still need to create a swap file so that when systems that are running on your VPS encounter lack of memory, what they'll do is they will move some, some items will be moved into the swap file and you can use the swap file as memory. So that's what a swap file is used for. When your system runs out of memory, some items will be moved into the swap file and then there will be some memory for the system that needs the RAM at the moment. Let's see how to create a swap file. We are going to start by creating a file and it will be 2GB. The file's name will be Ubuntu swap file. I'm just going to use this as it is, but you can change the name. You can even change the folder for where you're storing it. For me, I'm just going to store it in the root directory. So mine is 2GB, but you can make yours more than 2GB. So what is the rule? The rule usually is if you have memory that is 2GB and below, create a swap file that is twice as much as your memory. So if you have 1GB, create 2GB. If you have like 2GB, create 4GB. If you have 4GB and above, you can create half of it. Just create like 2GB or half or similar. So if you have 4GB, you can create 4GB or 2GB either. So for me, I'm going to, since I have 2GB, I'm going to create mine for 4GB. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to copy this. So what this does, it basically just creates a file and then allocates 2GB to that file and it will allocate this space from your SSD. So you're using NVMe SSD on Valtra. It's going to, it's going to get the 2GB from your disk space. I would need to change mine to 4GB. There you go, the file has been created. We can go and look for it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to change the permission for the file. I'll do Control L. Just remember, even if you control L, you can always scroll up to see all the commands which are still there. So I'm going to paste. I will enter. The permissions have been changed. I don't need to see and confirm if they've been changed. The third thing is to convert the swap file. Now, the next thing, I will just copy that. Paste. Enter. So the swap for that has been turned on. Let's do free hatch <laughs> so you can see there was already 4gb of swap that was created and i've added another so before you do this you can always check the status just to see if there is any swap that is recognized by your system now that i've added it let's just continue i'm just going to add it into this file now when you add it into the etsy fs tab file this file is a file that lets the system know all the memory locations so that means that when you restart your system it's going to know that there's a swap file that is my ubuntu swap file so let's go and open that file and i'm going to edit it and i'm editing it with vim so i'm going to do enter and you can see there is already a swap file here called swap file swap swap defaults right so there's a swap file here so we also need to add ours. We're just going to add the one we've created. So now you have 8 GB of swap memory. I mean, that's too much, but ah, what the hell? You'll see what to do with all this swap memory. So I will come in here. And this is really nice. The fact that they're adding the swap file for you when you're deploying your server is a good thing because some, t some people never do this ever. I will do I to go into insert mode and then I will enter. You can use nano. If you don't want to use Vim, just use nano where it says uh, sudo vi use nano. Nano is much easier to use. So that is the location for our swap file, swap, swap, defaults, everything will be zero, zero. Then I'll just do shift ZZ to save and exit. Oh, <laughs> I need to go into escape mode. Escape mode first. Press on escape. And then I will do shift, shift, Z, Z. 
and that's going to save and close. And now, even if I restart the system, it's going to recognize our swap file. sudo swap on. So if I do sudo swap on, I should have done this before you even start setting up your swap file. Make sure you do sudo swap on just to see if there's a swap file that's available. So you can see I have a swap file here that was created by Valtra. And I also have mine that I've created, right? Make sure you check if you already have a swap file by doing sudo swap on. So that is how to create a swap file on Ubuntu 22.04. What is the next process? The next process, the next step, we're going to change our server host name. So the next step, we're going to change the server host name. If you're on a different VPS, some VPSs like Contabo, uh, even Hetna, they usually don't change the host name for you when you're deploying the server. They don't give you that option. Hetna to some extent, but there are some, some VPSs like Contabo, you'll get some weird name, host name. We're going to see how we can change the host name next.